I could not be more excited for today's video because I am taking you to Morgan's Wonderland here in San Antonio, Texas, which is the world's most inclusive, most accessible amusement park for those of us with disabilities. You might notice I have cane in hand, not doggo, and that is because it is gonna be a whopping 97 degrees today, which I do not think Elton would appreciate because I know I sure as hell don't appreciate it but he certainly wouldn't in his thick winter fur coat. So he is not here with us, sadly, because I know he would have loved this, but we are gonna go on some cane adventures around this amusement park and check out all the accessibility they have to offer. We are officially in. I am so excited because I heard about this place through like a little TikTok video I saw over a year ago, and I've been wanting to come so badly and today's finally the moment as somebody who does like a lot of accessibility consulting in the corporate world around design this is going to be so fascinating to me i'm very excited to see what elements they've incorporated that i would have just never even thought of and see if there's anything they forgot as a blind person i feel like we are often forgot about and this is more so geared towards physical disabilities involving mobility like wheelchair. So basically the story is from my understanding that a father who had a daughter who had both cognitive and physical disabilities was on vacation. He saw that she was struggling being left out and he never wanted to see her or other children face that. And so he created Morgan's Wonderland in honor of his daughter. Um, and that this opened in 2010, but they've done a ton of expansion. We bought tickets to both parks. There's a water park and then the normal park. For me and my partner, two adult tickets, it was $34 for the whole thing to go to both parks. That is absurdly affordable. <laughs> I like actually can't believe how affordable that is. Um, I have a purple wristband. What color is yours again? Mine is yellow. He has yellow. So mine basically allows everybody at the park who works here to know that I am disabled um, and gives me different access. So in the Splash Park, it gives us access to a free locker. And if I did have mobility needs, it would give me access to a free water wheelchair, no rental cost at all. Um, and then in the normal park, it gives access to jump the line at certain rides and things like that. And just again, allows staff to know that I do have a disability. So love that. And then here they have a tactile and braille map, uh, high color contrast, large print. This is right once you enter the park. They do also have a full braille map, but it's not one you can like take around the park with you. It's just inside there. Um, and then they gave us a normal map, which is great because my boyfriend has negative 10% spatial directional awareness. <laughs> um, okay. So one thing that's really funny, let me find it. And I mean, maybe it's just me, but I'm fairly oh, certain is. it is not just me. This says Butterly Playground. Meant to be Butterfly. Yeah, so it's meant to be Butterfly Playground. It is Butterly Playground. They forgot an F. It's B-U-T-T-E-R contraction L-Y. So that's the only one I have. I, like, it was the first one I read and I was like, ooh. But it's really good braille, like in terms of the, the tactile feel. It's super legible, very nice to feel under the fingers. And then over here, uh, you can feel like all the tactile elements. So my boyfriend already oriented me that this is where we entered. So I'm standing like essentially here right now, which means I now know that the lake is to my left. And then I can feel the border around the water. Ooh probably where you get on the boat. That, that would be my guess as well. Like the boat cruise. I am so excited. I am so intrigued. Also, their symbol is a butterfly. And I'm sure that has some meaning. And I'm curious if any of you know what that meaning is. I feel like in the disability world, there's got to be some meaning behind that. But for some reason, I am unaware as to what it is. So if one of you could comment and let me know, that'd be great. I'm in this like cool butterfly bench, just sitting in the shade, taking a moment. I want to tell you guys about the Halloween festivities. So they have a bunch of different special things, but my biggest question is, are you open Halloween night? Because if you guys know me, you know that like Halloween for me growing up was always really difficult because I've been night blind from birth and I struggled socially. It was always a really difficult night because if I managed to find kids to go trick or treating with, they would want to like run ahead and I would be slowing them down and they'd be upset about that. And it was just like not 
a positive experience and it's led to me as an adult like hating Halloween but they are open Halloween night and you can come with your kiddos and they have trick-or-treating and different activities and if I had had a space like this that my parents could have taken me to I think that would have been such a different experience of Halloween as a disabled child. So I think it's really awesome that they have stuff like that. I'm sure they do stuff around Christmas as well. Um, so I want to mention it in case you're in the San Antonio area or you're going to be around Halloween. I think this would be a really awesome place to come. On our first ride, the carousel. Ooh, we're starting to go. I think I'm gonna go up and down. Yep. Ooh, here I am. Wee! I'm on a horse, right? Yeah, no, a zebra. A zebra. Yee. And I was able to buckle myself in. Very safe. Okay, I'm gonna get off. There's also worth mentioning um, like bench ones and ones that have like a seat back to it so that if you're in a wheelchair or have issues with like core strength and stuff, you can still enjoy. Here's your game. That's important. There we go. That's the bench one too, right? Oh, wow. And you could like sit with with somebody next to you, that's awesome. We are on the Jet Wonder Bikes. I think this is a new ride this year, yeah? Yeah, I think so. We're going up and down, is it? Yeah, up and down in a circle. And you have little pedals. <laughs> so I can feel like I'm biking? Yeah, and there's like a little propeller behind you. You can hear it whirring. Oh my God, so cute. Also, this is one of the rides where you can go right in on your wheelchair. So there's like a wheelchair platform, so you don't have to transfer out of your wheelchair. And they have quite a few rides here like that, which I think is so cool because, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think that exists anywhere else. And I'm always like, man, if somewhere like this can do it, so can Six Flags, so can Disney, so can all of these big amusement parks. Oh my oh, gosh. The, okay, hold on, I'm still filming. The, the feet pedals, okay, go ahead. Whoa! They're very squeaky. So the feet pedals control the... Uh, How light. high you go. This is crazy. Pedal faster, Molly. Oh, pedal faster. So, uh, uh. Okay, and then if we stop pedaling... You start to sink. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is so fun. <laughs> That's actually amazing. That's that really control... Yes, that you have autonomy to control your ride experience. <laughs> that is so fun. Yeah, I'm glad we figured that out before the ride ended. <laughs> Me too. This is... I, I just am so excited. <laughs> like, this is so cool. I've just... Why isn't everywhere like this? This is literally Wonderland. This is Morgan's Wonderland, but it's also Molly's Wonderland and every other disabled person's Wonderland because it just shows you what the world could be. They have a huge playground, like a massive playground for, you know, kids, but also <laughs> I would have fun. Um, and they have a whole section of wheelchair accessible swings, not just one, multiple, where again, you roll right in with your wheelchair and you get to experience swinging. Okay, it's been a long time since I've done this. Oh my God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Fun! <laughs> Look at this! At the playground, they have this tactile chart of sign language. So it has the whole sign language alphabet in like tactile hands. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. This is so cool. Okay, it's not like a broken record. I'm just gonna say this is so cool and so fun all day. <laughs> but look! Look! Do you see this? It's like a... I've never seen anything like this. How would you describe this? This is really cool. So there's these hoops that are over Molly's head that she can grab onto to pull herself through on her back. And you can have somebody roll you, or you can roll yourself. You can be pushed head first or feet first. Okay, you're nearing the end, that's the last one. Where's the, can I sit up now without uh, hitting my head? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whee, ooh, I don't wanna roll right off. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> that's cool, never seen anything like I've that before. I've never seen anything like that. We've got another form of an accessible swing. Instead of it just being one of those like little bench swings, it's actually a full seat, so you can rest your back, you can rest your head, you're fully supported on your hips. We love to see it. I have not been on a Ferris wheel since I was a wee child. You're afraid of heights a little bit. Oh yeah. So this should be real There's fun There's a beautiful view of the lake to your left. It does feel like we're quite high. Yeah. How do you feel? Uh, I feel like I don't want to look out. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. All right. We're gonna go out to the right, actually, oh. right? The right, the right. The paths are really like wide, open, smooth, very easy to navigate. I mean, if you can see, a little difficult when you can't, but that's just, that's not them, that's me. Okay, and then we're gonna turn 90 degrees to the right. 
And we're going over the little railroad crossing that the train Aww. tracks go over. So you'll feel that with your cane there. Don't worry, we'll be going on the train. Okay, let's turn right. We got a train ride to come, we got a boat ride to come. Most importantly, we got the zip line. Rocket Starflight Adventure. It's, it's such a cute name. Yeah. Boy, feel more train tracks. It's cute. There's a picture of a kid in a wheelchair, but it's like a rocket powered wheelchair. Whoa, cute. Yeah. I love that. That's so fun. We go over the water, right? Yeah. Ooh, and apparently it goes up real high. Yeah. Okay, before we go on the zip line, I want to tell you why I'm so excited about this. I don't know if I've ever told you the story before. I probably have because I talk so much. But the last time I tried to go zip lining, I was denied because I'm blind and not covered under their insurance policy. And um, that's when I bought this ring. <laughs> that's how this ring came to be on my finger when I was 16 years old because my family spent a bunch of money so we could go zip lining, my mom and I. Um, we were on a cruise and we were doing like a excursion uh, on one of the islands. And when they found out that I was blind, they denied me and said I wasn't covered. So my mom and I had to like cancel that Got our money back, thankfully, and whoa. Well, it sounds like a rocket. Sure does. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, and that is when we used that money to go shopping on the island and I bought this ring and I've worn it ever since. So this will be my next chance to go zip lining. Have almost. you never been zip lining? I like baby zip lines, like wow. teeny tiny ones. Yeah, 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 okay, um, this is a massive one. So yeah, I'm really excited because they won't deny me because I'm disabled. Yay, we Yay. love that. We love feeling confident that they'll let you do something that you should be able to do. Okay, so do you want me to describe it to you? I do, I wanna know what, it's, what I'm getting myself into. Okay, so there's uh, four seats, two face forward, two face backward. Okay. And they're hanging from the zip line um, like a, what did I call it earlier? Um, like a ski lift. Mm. And it's blue colored and it has rocket engines on the top of it. So cute. <laughs> We just did the zip line. It was really fun. It was my type of ride in that you didn't get any of that G-force tummy drop nausea feeling and it didn't make me get vertigo or feel dizzy, but it felt really fun still and like very freeing. It was like feeling the rush of the air and your feet dangling below you. I really enjoyed it. Um, and one thing I've noticed that's a really cool accessibility feature is that there's like benches everywhere to take a break and sit down, including in the line. So for example, with this one, all along where there was the line to wait to get into the ride, there was benches so that you could sit down while you wait instead of standing all day. Very smart. If you have ever been to other amusement parks with a service dog, you know they have very specific areas they want your dog to pee and they're like these little tiny gated off zones even though many service dogs are large breeds and then you have to like run around trying to find it when your dog has to pee but here they can pretty much pee anywhere they want and they, they do have fire hydrants in case your dog prefers it also love that we're listening to blinded the blinded by the light song <laughs> Ooh, i'm blinded by the lights <laughs> we're on the train ride now and every single train car has a space for somebody with a wheelchair, so there's a ramp, you roll right on, lock in. And we were just saying it's kind of cool because the entire theme of this place is to look like a little mini town. And it's like, if your world was really accessible, this is what your town could be like, which is such a fun concept. And we passed a bunch of little like fake kind of town type of things, like a, little, a couple little fake restaurants and stuff, which is so fun that they like, have really leaned into that like fake little mini town. Yeah. Oh, there was another um, like fake train stop too. Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Okay, so they have a sign up ahead that says, welcome to Sensory Village. <gasps> Sensory Village, that's for me. I wanna go to Sensory Village next. I think this is where the 4D ride is. Okay, very fun. Oh yeah, okay, so we were reading that they wanted to create a roller coaster ride experience for people in wheelchairs, um, but obviously that can be very challenging. So they came up with this idea of doing a 4D ride so it gives you the full experience of feeling like you're on a roller coaster, but it's still inclusive and accessible. So let's check it out. Okay, so we just stepped into the Magic Cinema and it's cool, it looks like a little, um, like a little street corner, like a little town square. Oh my God, stop, that's so cute. So the cinema is on the right, and then we have Exploration Station, uh, the Village Market, the Longhorn Trading Post, 
So which one do you want to do first? The oh, cinema? Oh, yeah. Okay, let's go. And there's the air conditioning. Important to note. Very yeah. nice. <laughs> the thing with a place like this, especially for children who are disabled, is you're not just coming and having an experience that's accessible. You're coming and you're seeing other people that are like you, which is so important because in so many places in our lives, we are the only us. You know, going to school, I was always the only blind child until I went to the school for blind, of course. But for most of my childhood, when I was going to summer camps and when I was interacting in public spaces, I was always the only blind person, often even the only visibly disabled person until I went and sought out spaces for disabled people. And I think it's so great that kids can come here and see themselves. And there is, um, we've noticed like a couple of disabled employees. So there is a blind employee nearby that my boyfriend mentioned to me. And I think it's awesome that they're not only creating a space for us, but you know, also hiring inclusively, which is so important. Ooh. It's like a takeoff runway. Then we're gonna go uphill. Ooh, fun. You can feel the air blowing? Yeah. Now we're going past a space station. It's like an actual roller coaster though, which is cool. What'd you think? I really enjoyed it. I wish there was an AD headset. I know, that would have been cool, but yeah. I described it to you pretty That well. would be my biggest recommendation yeah. to increase the accessibility even more. Okay, so there wasn't any audio description, which I think would be really cool for them to consider adding in the future for people like me to make it even more inclusive than it already is, um, because it was just sound effects. Like there was nobody talking or describing anything in any way, except my boyfriend sitting next to me. But I think that would be something that was super cool. But regardless of that, it was very fun. Like the seat rocked back and forth, forward and backwards. And what was interesting when my boyfriend was describing it to me, I thought it was going to be kind of like the mission to Mars at Disney, where they're actually trying to simulate you being on a trip to Mars. But this was just trying to simulate you being on a roller coaster. So it looked like the visuals of being on a roller coaster track that went up and down. And then the Mars type of stuff was around it, like stars and whatnot. And so when they had like at the end of it, um, a part that felt like you're going on a water slide or like a, a water ride. Like a waterfall. Yeah, and you like got sprayed flume. with water. Yeah. And then um, during the ups and downs, like you were having wind blown in your face. So again, it simulated that feeling of actually being out in real life on no ride. So I thought that was really cool. And then we did pop into the bathrooms afterwards and I was surprised that they didn't have like a family bathroom. They just had men's and women's, which, it's surprising because there's a lot of kids with families and it's helpful for that, but also it's something that I really appreciate when I'm just like on my own or with my partner because he can't obviously come into the women's restroom with me and it is definitely not the easiest thing to do on my own. Obviously I do it all the time and I, I can, but whenever there is a gender neutral or family bathroom, we use that one because that way he can come in and describe where everything is to me and help me when I need it. So that would be great. We only checked out one bathroom so I'm sure there is one somewhere, like there must be. Um, and I did read one of the reviews that said they have adult size changing tables, which was awesome because that woman had a 14 year old son who she needed to change and the like changing table actually accommodated his adult size, which is awesome. So I'm sure those bathrooms are somewhere, but that was just one note I wanted to mention. Okay, now I'm so hot, we need to go to the water park. Okay, we are on the walk to <laughs> the water park and we passed by the family restrooms, which is, I'm assuming is also where they have the changing tables. So we did find them. I knew they must exist around here somewhere. Okay, no, seriously, I'm sweating, let's go. I have made it to the accessible splash pad. I've got my little turtle friend here next to me. I'm gonna walk in with my cane. I feel like that's fine. Though I will take these mics off. So you will not be able to hear me anymore. We'll just have fun B-roll with me frolicking. Okay. Straight forward. Keep going. Yep, it's there. Keep, keep going. <laughs> Is it refreshing? Oh, so refreshing. Oh. That feels great, but now I'm dizzy. <laughs> okay. I'm over to your right. <laughs> I think this dress is water wicking. 
There's a bunch of other splash pads as well, and they're like all different theme, different amounts of water. This one is a pirate theme, and there's actually like little slides and stuff. And there is a ramp to get up to the slide, so when you use the free water wheelchair rental, you can get up and do the slide. This is so awesome. Um, I'm just, I'm just so happy this exists. Like my heart feels very full right now. Before we leave, we popped into the gift shop. I was really hoping they'd have like a t-shirt or something with that guide dog character on it. They don't, but they do have one with the wheelchair character with the rockets. But they have this, which has the like butterfly imagery on it. And then my boyfriend was just reading this to me since I asked earlier what we thought the butterfly meant. Here we go. So it says, taking flight, Taking flight dramatically symbolizes what Morgan's Wonderland stands for, to inspire those with special needs to soar beyond their physical and cognitive challenges to reach heights thought to be unattainable. Just as a butterfly magically emerges from its cocoon, unfurls its wings, and takes flight, this unique park is dedicated to encouraging each individual to dare reach beyond their limitations and reach the heights of their dreams. Here I think definitely like the imagery of a butterfly, like that's what accessibility does, is accessibility, like when something is universally designed to make sure that everybody's needs are being met and they can all experience the same thing. That allows you to become the butterfly that you already are. I don't think it has anything to do with us changing as disabled people, but everything to do with the environment around us accommodating us. Amazing. And our day at Morgan's Wonderland has come to an end. I have to say, in a world where we're seeing so many major theme parks removing access and taking away accommodations from the disabled community, it's so refreshing to come to a place like this. And I can't even tell you like how many times my boyfriend was like obviously describing everything around me all day and the amount of families where they both had children in wheelchairs and they're ch chatting and connecting and people have traveled from all over the country to come here and we're seeing little kids in the water wheelchairs enjoying being in the splash pad and getting to have the full experience that every other kid gets to have and it's it's just so special i'm so happy a place like this exists it seems like from some of the signage around. Um, there's a lot of like corporate sponsors and individual sponsors that fund this space to, to allow it to exist. There is tons of wheelchair accessible uh, parking spots. They make it such an affordable price point, which is amazing because being disabled is so expensive and families with disabled children already have such a financial burden that it's amazing that they remove that barrier. In fact, I, I'm fairly certain mine was free. I think you only pay ah. if you're not disabled, which I think is really cool. I'll correct myself on screen and down below if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, I just, this was such an amazing experience. I cannot encourage you enough to come here, to bring your family here, whether you are disabled or not. This is just an enjoyable experience for everyone. And this is the type of company that deserves to be financially supported. So I will definitely come back next time I'm in San Antonio and I hope you do as well. Until next time, you can click over here to see me explore Disney Tokyo or over over here to see me explore Disney in California with Elton. I'm coming home for you, Elton.